year 2000, Jeffrey Smart, aged 80, was given his the honour of a major retrospective exhibition held at the Art Gallery of New South Wales. This exhibition was the culmination of his life's work. He was, um, by most people's standards, should have retired, and uh, and yet he was lucky enough to be around when he was honoured in such a fashion. Most artists uh, get exhibitions like this after they've died. So Smart, at, in 2000, however, continued to work. Smart's uh, style and his uh, outlook were fundamentally unchanged from when his style was crystallised in 1964 or 65, he painted the uh, Carhill Expressway, often regarded as his best painting or his best early painting, or for a lot of people their favourite painting by Geoffrey Smart. And since that time his work remained basically unchanged. Urban subjects, uh, figures in alienated urban industrialised wastelands. We all know Geoffrey Smart's style and his paintings. The survey, the retrospective exhibition, sold more tickets than any other exhibition that has been held at the Art Gallery of New South Wales. The catalogue had to be reprinted five times. Smart was great box office, able to sell huge numbers of catalogues and entrance tickets. His prices of his paintings also climbed very sharply. And in fact, from the period, from about the time of that exhibition until 2007, we all witnessed this extraordinary growth in Smart's prices from a couple of hundred thousand for his most valuable painting, uh, something like uh, the homage to Cezanne. Um, and then in 2007, our highlight was the city bus depot, which we sold for $900,000. Our current auction includes a wonderful late Smart, painted in 2006. At this time, Smart was on top of the world. He was getting massively, uh, his pictures were in constant demand. He was unable to keep up with the supply, and yet he was this revered figure as well. It was a very interesting time in Smart's own life, and this painting really marks the absolute apogee of his career. The painting is typically Geoffrey. It's, it's a scene of a a road with a zebra crossing. The main subject of the painting is a pylon. This is classic, banal, deadpan Jeffrey Smart. This pylon has got some graffiti on it. There's a poster or two on it. It's half in shadow. It's half overborne by this, by the overpass over the road going over it. And at the foot of it, there's this kind of messy, gritty, dirty texture. All of these factors go together to produce this absolute wonderful jewel of a painting.